Hi there, in this video I'm going to give you an in-depth guide on the Firebug perk. The Firebug is a flame specialist, using a variety of weapons to set Zeds on fire and create panic amongst them. This perk is absolutely amazing at wiping out large groups of Zeds, but tends to struggle against the bigger ones. Combining crowd control and damage over time makes the Firebug an excellent pick as a trash killer on any team and difficulty. My name is Arsene and you're watching Killing Fair Tactics. I would personally say that the Firebug is probably one of the strongest trash clearing perks in the game, simply because of the amount of fire that you can put out, but you do have some difficulties with the stronger Zeds, which we will look at later. Throughout this video I'm going to be talking about the skills that you should be choosing, what weapons you want to buy and how your loadout should look like at the end of the game, and how to deal with some of the difficult Zeds. I'll also give you some basic tips so you can play the Firebug best and help out your team in the biggest way you can. At level 5 the skills you've got are Bring the Heat, and high capacity fuel tank. Out of these two skills I think that bring the heat is the way to go because it pretty much gives you an overall damage boost for the entire perk and that is very helpful. It will allow you to kill all the zeds much quicker and have a bigger impact on the game. I find that even though high capacity fuel tank is good, the extra ammo is nice, if you play fairly conservatively uh, you shouldn't really run into any ammo issues. You might run out in the first three or so waves but once you start to get your load out you'll be generally good for the rest of the game. Once you get some playtime with the Firebug, it's pretty easy to learn how to not waste any ammo. At level 10 we've got the spicy skills, on one side we've got barbecue, and on the other one we've got ground fire. This is a pretty easy choice and I would tell you to go with the ground fire, simply because barbecue doesn't really get the full effect off. As a Firebug your main role is to kill trash zeds, and they all die very quickly, therefore Barbecue, you're not really gonna see it because the enemy or your target that you're trying to kill is gonna die in 3 seconds anyway, so you don't really need to deal damage over time. Ground fire on the other hand is really useful when you're trying to block off an area or block off a, a tunnel of some sort and just stop zeds from coming through that area. All you gotta do is just pepper an area with fire and all the zeds that are coming through that area will die and if they're not dead they're gonna get slowed and taken out by your teammates. The only reason you should be taking barbecue is if you're trying to kill bigger zeds like uh, scrakes and flesh pounds, but they're not really your priority in the first place, so just stick to ground fire. For our third skills we have the choices between napalm on one side and zed trapnel on the other one. Out of these two I would say that napalm is the way to go because it's gonna save you a lot of ammo. You can light one or two zeds on fire and then just wait a few seconds and the entire room is gonna be lit. All of the Zeds are constantly running by one another and they have contact. Now both of the Zeds are on fire and it's good for you because like you're saving ammo. You don't have to light every single Zed on fire because they just do it themselves. This is a very useful skill and I've tried playing without it but I've noticed that you do waste much more ammo when you don't have it. One of the bigger downsides about the skill is that sometimes the wrong stuff catches fire. What I mean by that is you light a claw on fire and then there's like flesh pounds or scrakes that are walking by them as well. They catch fire and now you've got a lot of scrakes and flesh pounds enraged. So your team is going to be pretty pissed. There's a high chance you're going to be wiped because all of the Zeds are enraged at once. It's not a good time. In scenarios like that I usually just like to not shoot at all to make sure that I don't uh, enrage like two scrakes at a time or two flesh pounds at a time because it's really not good for your team especially on Hell and Earth when you have two scrakes and rage, uh, like it's just gonna screw things up. So yeah, be careful with that. If your team does complain and you are lighting stuff on fire, then try switching to Zed Shrapnel. Maybe that will work for you better. But I would tell you to stick with Napalm and just be careful around the, the bigger Zeds. After trying to use Zed Shrapnel for a little bit, I can definitely say it's not a horrible skill, but you'd be better off using Napalm most of the time. For our level 20 skills we've got Heat Wave on one side and Firestorm on the other. And this is a fairly easy choice as well. Take Heat Wave because Firestorm is generally useless. I mean I don't want to say useless because I'm sure it does come useful in some situations. But I would say that it's fairly easy for you to just walk a few extra steps and get closer to what you're trying to kill. I wouldn't really say that the Firebug has any issues with range. Most of the time actually what I've noticed is unless it's a Scrake or Flesh Pound, by the time it gets to you, it's already dead because of the fire and the burning, so yeah, uh, Firebug doesn't really struggle with that. But enough talking about Firestorm, let's talk real quick about Heatwave because it is actually a really useful skill. 
all you gotta do is just send out a little bit of flame at a flushbound or a scrake, whatever is chasing you, and then it's gonna stumble back. Even if the flushbound is raged, even if the scrake is raged, it's still gonna stumble back and give you some breathing room. Or let's say there's a teammate that's been attacked, you can help him out with that. Heatwave is just a general good skill overall and will help you in a lot of situations when you're getting overrun or when you're just having a hard time with the bigger Zeds. And for level 25 skills, the Z time skills, on one side we've got Pyromaniac and on the other side we've got Inferno. For me this is a fairly easy choice, after using both of these skills for a little bit I can tell you that Pyromaniac is much more fun and I think it is more useful in more situations. It pretty much allows you to carpet an area with fire and deal a lot of damage in the process. Not only are you shooting in real time, you also have unlimited ammo which is really useful on the firebug and this just makes it a deadly combo. On the other hand, after using Inferno for a bit, I got underwhelmed because it's really not as fun as Pyromaniac. Not only are you shooting slowly, but you can also run out of ammo in that time which isn't fun and it's really, the damage isn't great. Why? Because the targets you're trying to kill are all weak Zeds. They're all like crawlers and clots and stuff like that that all die in 3 seconds. So what is the point of taking 50% more burning damage if everything is already dying fast? You're pretty much limiting yourself and saying, I will only kill Scrakes, I'll only kill Flesh Pounds, because that's all the damage is useful for. All the other stuff dies quickly, and yeah, it's, it's just kind of a waste in my opinion. So trust me with this one, and if you don't trust me, then trust the clips that I'm showing you, because even through them you can see that Pyromaniac is generally a much more fun and useful skill. That pretty much covers all of the skills, I've spent a little bit more time than usual talking about them, but I also feel like I've went more into depth and explained why each one is better than the other. And now let's talk about the weapons that you're going to be using as a firebug and how these weapons can fit into a loadout. The first weapon that we're going to be looking at is the starting weapon for the firebug, the Kalk and Burn, and I've got to say that this is actually a pretty good weapon. As you can see from the clips, this weapon is amazing at killing all of the weaker Zeds, but it does start to struggle a bit when you introduce the medium Zeds like the Husk, Gorfine, stuff like that. The ammo on this weapon is great as well, and I would usually use this thing for around 3 waves, and then after that sell it and move on to the next better weapon. One tip that I will give you for this gun is make sure that you're not constantly shooting at flames, but instead are doing it in little bursts. This will allow you to save a bunch of ammo throughout the game. The next weapon that I want to talk about are the dual spitfires, and I think that this is an amazing secondary weapon for the firebug. There are quite a lot of good things about it, that being the damage that these things do, you also have a lot of range with them, the reload on them is quick, the clip capacity is good as well, and what is also really useful is that they can start ground fires. What I mean by that is if you shoot at the ground, there's going to be a fire and that's going to burn the zeds, which is really really useful. What this means for you is that you pretty much don't even have to hit the Zeds when you're shooting at them, you can just shoot at the ground and you're still gonna get the kills. The next weapon that we're gonna be looking at is the Incendiary Trench Gun, and I've gotta say, when you're comparing this thing to the Dual Spitfires, it's really really bad. Why? Well, one of the facts, or one of the big things, is that you can't start ground fires with it. Two is that the reload is super super slow, and three, I mean, it's a shotgun, so the range on it is limited, you have to... Uh, get up close to the Zeds if you want to deal a good amount of damage. So just overall, don't use the incendiary trench gun. It's pretty bad on the firebug. I think on the support, on the support is pretty good, but on the firebug, I would suggest to stay away and just stick with the dual spitfires. The next weapon that we're going to be looking at is the flamethrower, and I think that this is a pretty good weapon for killing medium and smaller Zeds alike. Uh, you can pretty much use this and coat an area with fire and stop Zeds from coming through that area. One thing to remember when you're using this weapon is just like the Kalk and Burn, you're not just shooting flame everywhere, but you're kind of shooting it in little bursts. This will allow you to save ammo and have enough for the entire wave. Overall, I think that this is a good weapon, but I kind of don't agree with people when they use it as their primary, and I will tell you why in just a second. The microwave gun is the Firebug's tier 4 weapon, and it is a weapon that I choose to use as my primary. Unlike the flamethrower, the microwave gun is better against Zeds that have metal in their bodies, that being the Siren, Husk, Gorfine, Flesh Pound, Scrake, stuff like that, you get the idea. It can also be used to set ground fires, and from my experience, it kills most of the Zeds faster than the flamethrower. One downside I have found about this weapon is that it does take quite a bit of ammo, so you can't rely on using it for the entire wave. And you're probably wondering, why am I using the microwave gun instead of using the flamethrower as my primary weapon? 
Well, this is because I find that the flamethrower and the spitfire revolvers actually pretty much do the same thing. You shoot at the ground, you get a ground fire and you can kill all the weaker zeds fairly easily. So in my opinion, why have two weapons in your loadout that do the exact same thing if you can replace the flamethrower with a microwave gun that's better against the stronger zeds and it kills zeds faster. It's true that the firebug isn't really supposed to focus on the stronger zeds, but I feel like if you do have the microwave gun you have the potential to help out your team whenever it's needed, as opposed to having a flamethrower and limiting yourself to just the weaker zeds. And before we forget and I go on to talk about the loadouts, let's talk real quick about the firebug's grenade, the Molotov. This is a very simple grenade, you throw it down and you pretty much cover an area with fire for 10 seconds. And there are quite a few situations when you want to be using this grenade, one of them is when you're being overrun and you run out of ammo in your clip. That means you have to reload but um, all the zeds are coming in. So you can throw down a molly and get that area covered with fire, limiting the amount of zeds that are coming through. That gives you enough time to reload and get back in the action. Another good use for the Molotov is when there's a big group of zeds in the distance and you can't really reach it with your flare guns, you can't really reach it with a microwave gun. So you can toss a molly in the distance and hopefully that will hit the zeds and kill them. I'm not sure why you're killing zeds from a distance, but if you need to, then this is here for you. Like I said, the main situations that I use it in is when you have to reload and you want to keep an area under fire to limit the zeds that are coming in. And that pretty much covers all of the firebugs weapons, and real quick let's talk about the loadout that you want to be using for the entire game. The loadout that you heard me talk about earlier includes the microwave gun, spitfire revolvers, and the medic pistol. And for the buy order, I usually end up using the caulk and burn for around 3 waves and then after that you should have enough money to buy the microwave gun, if you don't use it for 4 waves, get the microwave gun. Then after buying the microwave gun on waves like 4 and 5, you should get enough money to buy the spitfire revolvers and then after that just whenever you have the money, you either donate it or you buy the medic pistol. And I found that most of the time this loadout works perfectly for me, use the spitfire revolvers to kill all the weak zeds and once a, a tough situation comes or there's a lot of big zeds, then you can whip out the microwave gun and help out your team with that. That pretty much covers all of the weapons and loadouts that you're going to be using in the game. And now let's talk about the zeds that you're going to be facing and how to kill them. Obviously the firebug's job is to be killing all of the weak zeds, that being the clots, crawlers, slashers, stuff like that. All of the medium zeds are fairly easy to kill as well, so I'll talk about them briefly. First let's talk about the blow and he's fairly easy to kill for the firebug, all you gotta do is set him on fire and kinda just let him cook in the background. Uh, the fire does go out sometimes so you have to reignite it but I pretty much don't do anything drastic, just let him cook in the background, he'll die in a couple of seconds off screen. Next up we have the siren and she's super easy to kill if you have the microwave gun, you just smelt her, but if you're using the flare revolvers then you just land a couple of shots to the head and she should be down. The husk is pretty similar to the siren, if you've got a microwave gun then use that, he's gonna melt pretty quickly. If you don't then use the flare revolvers and just land a couple of shots on the gas tank or just land a few body shots, headshots, whatever, he should die pretty quickly from those as well. And the gore fiend I'd say is the hardest for the firebug just because he doesn't die as quickly, he still dies pretty fast if you're using the microwave gun. But if you're using the flare revolvers then the ground fire might take a little bit of time to kill him, I think that time is too long. So with the flare revolvers try and get body shots or headshots cause the ground fires don't really cut it. And that covers all the medium zeds for the firebug, like I said they don't really pose a threat but I thought that I'd leave them in the video just to kinda stick with the same format. Now I'll give you some strategies of dealing with the bigger zeds and what to do based on the perks that your team has selected. This is pretty important and I'll start off by saying the things you shouldn't do. If you have a sharpshooter on the team, don't engage the fleshbounds and the scrakes. The sharpshooters are there trying to get headshots on the scrakes and fleshbounds. If you light the scrakes and fleshbounds on fire, even accidentally, they're gonna, one, they're gonna rage, and two, they're gonna run around aimlessly in panic because they're on fire, and that makes it super difficult for the sharpshooters to get a headshot. In that situation, your job is to pretty much protect the sharpshooter and make sure that they're safe, they're not getting attacked by any smaller zeds and they can peacefully kill the scrakes and flashpounds. As we talked about it before, be careful with the skill napalm because they can inadvertently catch on fire and pretty much kill the entire team. Now if your team doesn't have a sharpshooter and the team damage isn't really focused on giving out headshots, then you can kinda help with the bigger zeds. This is when you can take out the microwave gun and set some ground fires and deal body damage as well. 
but do remember that the firebox focus is on the weaker zeds and not these bigger ones. Sure you can take out the microwave gun and help out, but don't be expecting to deal a lot of damage. After all, the Skrix and Flesh Pounds do take a considerably smaller amount of damage from fire than they do from other damage sources, so keep that in mind. Overall, just a quick recap, if your team has a sharpshooter, then don't go near the bigger zeds. But if you don't have a sharpshooter, then you can kinda help out with them, definitely deal some damage with the microwave gun, but it shouldn't be your main concern, and you should focus on keeping the area clean of weak zeds. And that pretty much covers the two big guys, now we'll just give you some quick tips on how to deal with the boss. For both of the bosses, you want to take out your microwave gun and pretty much deal damage with that. Uh, if your team is getting chased by one of the bosses, then set ground fires behind you because the ground fires do have a slow on them, so that will help you out as well. And a little tip that not many people know is that Hans is afraid of fire, so you can kind of uh, uh, wall him off sometimes. If you set the ground fires right, he's not going to go in that area, and you can definitely use that to your advantage. And I guess on that note, we've pretty much finished talking about all the Zeds. Now I'll just give you some simple quick tips on how you can play the firebug better. For the first tip, I want to go back and emphasize how important it really is to know when to attack the bigger Zeds and when to leave them alone. If you rage too many big Zeds at the same time, your team will 100% die. If there's a rage scrake running around or if there's like two of them and two flesh pounds, that's enough to kill your team because no one knows what's going on, it's panic everywhere, there's big Zeds running everywhere. Uh, the teammates can't take them out and you're pretty much going down. And I know that I have talked about this a lot, but I just want to make it clear to everyone because it's one of the main reasons that people don't like firebugs is because most of the time they don't know what they're doing, they rage all the bigger zeds and then they pretty much ruin the game for everyone. And another helpful tip is make sure that you're always conserving ammo by tap firing. What do you mean by that is don't just shoot your flame everywhere because it's waste of ammo and you're not going to have enough for the full wave. So tap fire, send out little bursts, and that should be enough to kill the zeds and get you by. Also don't forget the fact that you can use your skill heat wave and get out of some tough situations or help a teammate. For example, if they're getting chased by a scrake or a flashbound, you simply walk up, shoot a burst of flame and that should push the zed back, giving you guys some time to retreat and maybe heal up, stuff like that. And I think that's pretty much it for the tips, I can't really think up of any extra right now to give you because I don't know, the firebug perk isn't really that difficult, I think. The more you play it, the better you're gonna get at it, so just do that, play it, and you'll get better at it. And to finish off the video with a bang, I've prepared a little highlight for you to show you what the firebug can really do once you reach level 25. But before I do that, I'd like to remind you that if this video helped you out and if you've enjoyed it, then do leave a like, it helps me out. If you want to see other guides, then look in the description, there should be a playlist for that, or it's at the end of the video. Uh, share the video also, it helps me out a bunch. And if you want to stick to my content and watch my other upcoming videos, then either follow me on Twitter or subscribe to the channel. I hope you enjoyed the highlight, hope you enjoyed the video, and have a great day.